welcome back guys so now we have to work now on styling the, the the game so if we look at the final version of the of the game we see he has this cool background color he has the buttons have been styled with some images and we have this cool font here and things like that so that is what we're going to be doing today we're going to be focusing more on the css all right so let's open our style.css and uh, first things first we want to style uh we'll start first with our button or we'll style the body first so we get everything if we look the final version has everything centerized so we say uh body and we want to say uh text align center so next up we are going to take a background color oh sorry background color and it's going to be our hash two eight three one four nine so that's going to be our background color next up we're going to start our h1 i'm going to say font size it's going to be five rem color it's going to be white i'm not sure it's white it should be our uh, hash f hash d b e d f three cool that's gonna be the background color so font family font family it's gonna be avro so this font family actually is not pre-installed into the operating system well, we are going to add that into our HTML. So let's first of all finish by starting this H1, and then I'm showing. Go, I'm going to show you how to do that. And next, we're going to add the text shadow. We're going to add the text shadow. So the text shadow is what we've we seen in the final version here. Is this effect? You look at it. It has this red something there inside. So that's the well. That's why we're adding the text shadow. So the text shadow we're going to have three pixels left and top and we're going to have zero pixels right and bottom and then we're going to have hash da zero four six three so that's going to give us that effect on the corners of the letters so now to add this uh font we go to our index.html we screw up to the link section and below the link section we are going to link something we're going to link the font from the google fonts website so i'm just going to copy it and bring it this way so this is from the google fonts website so this is link href that and it's going to be real style sheet so everything there is looking good so let's see how our page looks like so let's go to our drum kit game so we just reloaded the page the live server is working well so if we you see the page looks good but it's not like the final version so I'm, I'm going to zoom in on this so we have everything clearer so we see everything here good so we have the font it has given that effect and we have our buttons so now let's continue to style the the rest of the page so the next thing we're going to be targeting now is the footer so our footer and in our footer we want to say the color is going to be this same color here of the text to keep things uniform then we say font family which is going to be sans serif so that's all for our footer now the next part is to if we notice on the final version of the we have some images here so these are images that are added at the background of those buttons so we are going to add that using css so how are we going to do that we just simply have to select this class because if you look here we have the class of w 
class of A, class of S, class of D, J, K, L. So that is what we'll be targeting. So I'm just going to do a dot W and we're going to do a background image. And we're going to say a URL. So the URL is a function in CSS to select a specific location. So it's images. So the first one will be crash that PNG get it now I'll just copy this and I will just be changing the names of the rest of the other files Okay, so we got all of our images, so we have linked them to the buttons. Now, if we open our site, and it's already reloaded, we see the images getting being displayed. But now, those some of those images cannot be displayed properly because the width of the images is exceeding that of the button. So we are going to fix that in a bit so next up we're going to set the margins of this div so they set the margins so which is the dot set class was targeting and we're going to set the margin to be 10 percent top and left and then we're going to do the rest auto so that's going to set the margin this will like try to centralize the text now we're gonna do a dot pressed so anytime the button gets pressed this class is not yet added into the code but it's going to be used in the JavaScript section so this will be 0, 3 pixels 4 pixels 0 and I'm gonna put back that color here now and we're going to set the opacity of it <coughs> excuse me so we set the opacity to be 0 0.5 opacity so the opacity here will be 0 0.5 next up we're going to start the drum so the drum is the class which is displayed here as you can see clearly so this drum here is displayed clearly so the dot drum So what we have basically done is we set the outline to no, we add a border around the button, we increase the font size to 5 rem, now we give it a font family of Avro. Now the line height refers to the difference between how, how the text overlap themselves. So maybe if we had a long paragraph, it's going to like give a gap between those, those uh, texts. Now we're going to give a font weight, it's going to tell how bold the text is looking like give it a color the text of the color of the text in the buttons is going to be this color and a text shadow so it's going to give a text shadow means 
brown the text is going to have a specific shadow it's going to be that bright white a little bit white border radius the border is going to be a little bit rounded and it's going to display all the uh, the buttons with the images on one line the width 150 pixels height 150 50 pixels now the margin 10 pixels refers to the separation between each button so if you look at the, the final version uh, the re uh, the application we see there's a margin 10 pixels here so you can see there's an equal gap in between each button so this is all about the CSS so right now we have to go to our JavaScript so that we can be able to add functionality to this to what we have just added but I almost forgot there are some classes that are written here that won't be used immediately but they are going to be used in our JavaScript and in the JavaScript part we're going to talk about how to incorporate them so let's begin in our JavaScript section check out the final part of this tutorial in the card above or in the link in the description below thanks for watching this video